Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% Achievement and Trophy Guide, and this time we are getting it all in a Memoir Blue. This is a trippy adventure game developed by Koisters Interactive, published by Annapurna Interactive, and it's usually available for a tiny £6.69, nice, but is free on Game Pass right now, so, as I always ask, one, where's the Game Pass, and two, go buy the Game Pass. So this is a, um... I mean, I can't really describe it other than woman's an Olympic swimmer, depressed about her mommy, working more than loving her when she was a kid, but for some reason, we go swimming through loads of water and stuff, probably to do with the fact that she's an Olympic swimmer, but it, the gist I got is, mummy wanted money, kid got pushed aside, no love there, you'll see anyway, you'll soon see. Um, as for achievements and trophies, they are very easy, it's a very simplistic game, a lot you can easily uh, miss the first time around, but there is always chapter select, so near panic, bruh, near panic. Um, and it is also visually stunning though, so it does make for a nice experience. But all in all, we're looking at around 50 to 55 minutes to complete this. So, with that being said then, let us begin. Now, as you could uh, see, to begin the game, what you have to do is actually click on the radio and just drag it down into the water, and then we'll be able to start for realsies this time. So again, it is... Very much like the Artful Escape, this, to me it's more of an experience than it is a game, so as we begin, look, oh, she's got, I can't tell if that's bronze or gold, my eyes, the older I get, the eyes are getting worse, but what we need to do is actually just press the A button, spam the A button on her, blind her, blind her with incredible flashes of photography, because that's what happens when you win, um, I'm going to call it a bronze medal, because it looked bronze from me, to me, but there we go. So, congratulations, you are second of the losers. Um, and, yeah, so just smash it until the uh, cutscene starts changing. There's a lot of cutscenes in the game as well, um, unskippable, so you just sort of enjoy the experience, I suppose. Yeah, let's enjoy the experience. So, there she goes, look, so winning and being popular and winning lots of things, apparently it doesn't make you happy. And apparently, being poor and a sack of crap makes you really happy, so, well, it's up to you, whatever you'd prefer. So, this bit, you can just interact with a couple of things until the phone turns on, interact with the glasses. Um, what I'd done for jokes was actually just spray all her crap in a bag, because that's always funny. <laughs> but you can interact with anything until the phone automatically comes on. There it is. So, everything's wet now. <laughs> so, click on the phone, drag it from the left to the right there, and then what we need to do is click on the message, which, of course, if you don't know what a message is, somehow, even though we are in the generation where everyone messages, because everyone hates interacting with people in real life, it was the middle button, click whatever you want, press the green button there, doesn't matter what, and then another cutscene's going to happen. Now, we're going to be coming into three um, achievements in quick succession. So, what we're going to do, we're taking a nap, because again, being popular is, is it makes you just miserable. Rich and popular makes you miserable. <laughs> well, give me the popularity and the riches then. I'd rather be miserable, to be honest. So, this is the first achievement here. All we have to do is simply get the ice cubes out of the glass. So, do not put the ice cubes down, because that progresses the story. Um, it can be a little bit tricky, but uh, grab it, of course, with the A button, and then... Sort of, if you grab it from the sort of middle of the glass, and then throw it over to the right. There we go, eventually you'll get a good uh, momentum going for them. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, um... God damn it, I like my air cubes. Anyway, so once all three are out, uh, you will unlock the achievement called Empty a Cup. Um, you don't have to do any more, you can now drag the ice cubes to the bottom, and apparently some fish starts to appear in your drink. Excuse me, waiter, I'm not that rich where I want some goddamn fish in my drink. Come in. So anyway, you should get about three, I think, before the scene changes. There it is, so. So for some reason then we got um, a nice drink where there's no ice cubes, but it's just fish in your drink. Well, I'd be pissed off, personally. But, um, but that's up to you, isn't it? You don't know what these rich, rich posh people get up to? I don't, know, I don't like ice cubes in my drink. I like fish. It makes it more exotic. I paid £58,000. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So anyway, this is the second achievement. <clears throat> Excuse me. All easy again. So, nay panic in your bottom off about it. So what we have to do then, the dial on the right, the knob on the right, turn it to the big sort of the first white dot until you see this picture, and then these two black buttons on top here, you just need to press both of them to sort of change the images. Uh, so we're going to need to do that for all of these sort of big lines. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So just go over to the next picture, click the next black button on top until one image starts, and then click the next one until the next image starts. Keep slapping that out for all seven until the achievement unlocks, and then, well, everybody's happy, right? Yeah, you better be happy. This is nice and easy. So as it's turning out then, everything is either happy or depressing. So in case you're already depressed enough, um, welcome to a game where everything's completely depressing. Hooray! Um, let uh, I'll try and make commentary where it's not so depressing, is it? Okay, cool. That sounds good to me. So as soon as you get to the end right there, as long as you've gone through each one and viewed all the images with the two black buttons on top, you should get, uh, I assume these achievements are not going to be rare by the time they finish. Now, what you're going to not hear now is music. So on your screen, there's going to be a bunch of uh, music. But because I don't want to be bent over backwards, like in prison when I drop the soap, um, by all the, um, you know, copyright and stuff like that, I'm going to turn the music off. So you are only going to hear the background noise on the video, but hopefully you're going to hear some nice music, beautiful, all throughout your gameplay on your TV. So, that's why you've seen uh, me turn the music down. So, this is where the third achievement is then. So, before dragging the sun down, uh, interact with the billboard on the right. Click the A button on that. That's going to light up. Shiny. Click on the crane once. Uh, not the billboard. We don't need to do that. So, just click on the crane until it goes all the way to the right until you can't see it. No mo. And then click on the crane once again. And then that's going to swing it all the way back. And then we're going to go kapow. Da da da. I'm a star. And we're going to get the achievement called Glow Up. Except I'm not a star, but we do get the achievement. So now you can just drag the sun down. And life is good. Apart from Lady No Name, who is completely depressed. Just because her mother fancied working more than loving her. <laughs> Sorry for making the money. Right, from here, grab the radio, drag it down, slap that down into the ground. And then, for some reason, then... This is where we start to turn into Spongebob Squarepants and stuff like that. We're just going swimming forever. Now again, you'll always know when it's a cutscene as well as when the, the uh, black bar at the top and the bottom appear. So that's when you know you can just chill out, relax your body. So, next bit of gameplay we're going to do is uh, very, very complicated. It might make, take you a few tries. But if you press the A button at the top and then drag it down from the paper, we'll need to do this for all the pieces of paper until another image proceeds again. It may take a few tries. It's so tricky, this one. Oh, made me crap my pants. Well, not really, of course. But that's all we're doing then. Slamming all these pictures down until we get to this picture. Ah, that's nice. Now, you wouldn't know it, but this is the start of the next chapter, chapter 2, and this is already a missable achievement then. And the first thing that we have to do is pick up one of these coins, and then just throw it over to the left-hand side of the screen. So, goodbye. One will always get thrown back. Um, the achievements may take a while to sort of pop up, so just do it once or twice, um, and then eventually it should pop up. But all you got to do, drag, get a coin, drag it to the left-hand side of the screen, and we are going to be getting the hopping the turnstile achievement. Simples. Perfect. It's what you want. A less stressful game. So now we can put the coin in the coin slot. You should know what a coin slot looks like. There we go. Um, now press the male and the female buttons, both flashing. And of course grab the ticket. Oh, ticket. Now we have to stamp it. Again, this is very much like the uh, Artful Escape. This is more of an experience than it is a game. Um, so ignore that for now. Grab one of the tickets that we're going to do. I don't know why I put that there. 
we, <laughs> we'll come back to that. You need to drag it all the way to the bottom. So grab a ticket, put it underneath this uh, ticket stamping machine, turn the knob, and um, drag it all the way down until it sort of looks like all blue. A memoir blue. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. And then uh, give it the old stamp and housing of life. Beautiful. And then you can drag that to the slot on the right. Because, of course, you know, don't do... C come on. Don't be mongish like me. There we go. So drag the first one down first. Then do the other ticket. Stamp the crap out of it like you've never stamped a stamp before in your life. Oh, yeah. That was some great stamping. There we go. Fantastic. So, with that one done, another cutscene begins. <laughs> I hope you're ready for another complicated bit. Keep spamming the A button all around the paper to um, start dripping it, just to reveal a couple more images. Uh, for some reason, um, us as a teenager or us as a cartoon version and our mother seem to have some pretty huge birthmarks or burn marks. I don't know, maybe we stuck the iron on ourselves or something. Or maybe we stuck our he head in the oven for a laugh and then got burnt on both cheeks. Because nobody looks like that in real life. Not even in cartoons anymore. Anyway, so you, <laughs> as soon as you spam the A button on all the images, another cutscene begins. And what we need to do here is drag the wheel on the right hand side and then just uh, keep holding left on the right stick uh, keep holding left on the left stick sorry until the train is at its peak and then SPLAM EXPLODE no, no BAM EXPLODE no, th this is not that kind of game <laughs> I think it was called The Train That Couldn't Slow Down by Homer Simpson Right, okay, so now we're really living in uh, Bikini Bottom, Spongebob and uh, Patrick territory now. Swimming with, swimming with the fishes. Except we're not sleeping with the fishes. Not Kanye West from South Park style, anyway. Uh, no, we're just looking... I don't know if we're trying to search for our mother or if we're just that depressed and we're that good at swimming that we can hold our breath underwater, but... Hey, it's what it is. So the weird underwater train will stop underwater. Now, you see the footprints on the floor? All you got to do, ignore the fish. Fish don't have nothing to do with it. Just uh, click on the floor. Keep clicking on the floor where the foot uh, footsteps are going. And it is as easy as that. Bloody hell, does this woman think she is? She thinks she's bloody Mu Muriel from The Little Mermaid. Muriel? That's her name, right? Yeah, she's like The Little Mermaid without being a Little Mermaid. So, uh, just interact with all the jellyfish there in the background. That's all we are doing for the time being. Um, you just got to light up enough so, uh, so that the cutscene will begin, so that the scene changes and the cutscene begins. But yeah, why not, innit? Why not just think, oh, I'm a little depressed, so I'm going for a life under the sea. Under the sea, there'll be no accusations, just friendly crustaceans under the sea. Again, that is another Simpsons quote in case nobody, in case anyone was wondering, what the hell am I going on about this time? Yeah, take a stretch, love. Yeah, you're there just chilling underwater, breathing in the sea air. Nice. Okay, yeah, stretch it on, get out of here. Okay, I'm going to try that. Except I'm a chunky man and I can't walk without going out of breath, so holding my breath underwater, <laughs> well, that's going to be a little trickier for me. And here we are then, in Bikini Bottom, ready to get yet another missable achievement. Very easy, just grab the wood from the top, <laughs> wood wall, <laughs> and just drag it 
sort of in the middle and just drop it down into the water. Do this about five or six times. The planks will keep being regenerated, but don't worry about that. Uh, just keep dragging all the wood and just drag it in the middle of the gap until you get the achievement for the hilarious uh, title named Wood War. Now, when I think of Wood War, I think of two dudes having a sword fight. You, you know exactly what I mean. Uh, but that's what I think <laughs> when we talk about Wood War. But when you get the achievement unlock, all we need to do is just make a nice, tidy little bridge um, over to the other side. So, little lady no-name, we'll call her Anna because of Anna Purner Interactive. That'll do. That'll do. That's very genius of me, right? Yeah, but as soon as we make the bridge, on she strolls. And if you can't find the last piece of wood, it is there. I'm just a blind piece of crap, apparently. Hmm. Oh, oh my god, the boat seller's got thrash on his hands for some reason. Uh, right, so try not to touch the guy. Two grand! Jesus Christ, two grand for a bloody boat ride. Well, there you go. So give the money to him. Trying to catch his, you know, diseased hand on the way past. That would be nice. So he gives us a map and we're able to go on a boat. Remember, this is for 2,000 whatever currency that is. Now, in places like Vietnam, that'd probably be very cheap. But if you're in Britain or America, and that's £2,000 slash dollars or something, that's goddamn expensive for a boat. Bruh, you just got ripped the fudge off, honey. Two grand for this boat. Okay, sounds great. Anyway, we are coming up to another achievement that we're going to be grabbing. There goes our uh, our burn victims selves, apparently. Cartoon burn victim selves. So as soon as we nip onto the boat... We have to just interact with a couple of little buttons, and uh, in we have to interact with the radio, so make sure to interact with the radio before we move on. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So, first things first. Oh, two grand, and we get to steer it ourselves. That's cute. Grab the key there from the bottom left, and then put it in. It might might be a little bit tricky to chuck it in, but press the A button to turn it as well. Um, now what you can do is grab the... Radio, but you actually have to grab the radio and then drag it down a little bit in order to hear the song If you just leave it like that, it won't play So you have to actually grab it, drag it down And then the sound song plays, that is what will get us the achievement There we go, beautiful Right, so in order to go, what you have to do is the, You see the, there's two yellow buttons and like a green button on top We have to press that green button first So, from here Press the green button, there we go, and then press the um, boaty, controly, speedy, milicky things. And onwards we go, pal! And we are going to be coming up to yet another achievement as well. Right after we enjoy the uh, this, this beautiful little scenery and go and look, look, Ma, sorry that I stabbed you with your straightness in your cheeks. And then the mother will say, Sorry, I took the eye into your face. I was a bit, I was a bit harsh. That was, wasn't it? I know you were just pissing around, but um, anyway, from here we need to find all the secrets. So go down on the boat. You steer with the left stick, of course. There's the first boy. There's the second boy, just right by it. Sort of go back and into the top right-hand corner to find the third boy. And there is not going to be a fourth one here, but there is going to be a whole bunch of fishes and a cutscene that's going to happen again. Get in my belly. Yes, it's very cute and all, but let's hurry up. Right, so the fourth boy is in the bottom left-hand corner. Do not go to the other island yet. So try and avoid the other island if you can. Find this fourth boy in the bottom left-hand corner. And that should be all the secrets found on the map, which is called Oh Boy. All the secrets floating on the map. Beautiful. And then we get this big cutscene where we get on the island. And then this is basically where the um, first episode of Lost begins.
Yes, because that's what you do in it. You see something floating or, you know, something shining and you'll just go all the way in. Mate, your nips must be freezing. That water cannot be warm. So what we have to do then is just get rid of all the leaves. Now, there is an easier way of getting rid of all the leaves. Grab the big brush leaf on the right and just smash the rest out of the way like a hardcore piece of crap that you are. Not you personally, I meant Anna, of course. Sorry. No, you guys are super cute, and I love you. Um, <laughs> right, anyway, when we uh, can, we're going to grab the photo. We're going to swish it around in the water. So again, grab it with the A button, left stick to move it. And then when you see the photo is clear, release the A button. And then that should pop the uh, photo out of the water. So we can do that. Press the A button to get that going. Do it with the second photo and the third photo. So grab it, swish it around, release the A button. And the third one is not going to have a good time. And instead of saying to yourself, ah, oh, nuts, ah, oh, well, I should have a backup in the house, is what normal people do. We're going to swim down for it. Apparently, we're going straight back to Bikini Bottom to find Squidward and the lads. Right, so there is another miserable achievement coming up here. And what we have to do, basically, we have to drag the fish, but we have to drag it around the photo. So we're doing a circular motion around the photo. So as the fish, when we grab the fish, do not interact with the photo straight away we have to drag it around so <laughs> make sure to just do a couple of circle motions until the achievement unlocks wow that looks like Kirk Van Houten's dignity picture and then as soon as the achievement unlocks then you can put the fish on the photo and well away we go wait wait hi come back here in my photo you little shit bird oh shit fish apparently So on to chapter 4, which again you wouldn't be able to tell, but this is chapter 4. So what we have to do then is interact with the pinwheel on the very left hand side of the screen. Now, um, I don't think just rapidly pressing the A button does it, I think you've got to actually turn it, press the A button and turn it with the left stick, um, until they both sort of start going like that, and then eventually the achievement's going to unlock. Uh, there we go, so I think just um, holding the left stick, doing it in a direct uh, counterclockwise or clockwise motion or whatever, then pressing the A button, we'll get that to work. Right, next up, we're going to cut the ropes at the top of this cloth. Ropen, ropen, ropen. And then, of course, this is where we move in. So, we've left behind all the beating each other with straighteners and, and irons and stuff like that. Our beautiful little burn victims are moving into a new house. I've got to stop calling them burn victims, actually. Sorry, that's, that's, not, that's not good. Uh, right, so what you have to do is interact with the lights at the top to um, get these photos going, and then we can paint over it. Come in! There we go. So interact with the lights at the top, and the as you can see, the paint roller is automatically gone, so what we can do is just uh, press the A button, A button, and then just keep rolling the paint all the way until the uh, painting is complete. And we go from complete... Um, wrinkly depressing to uh, straight depressing so well happy days this uh, certainly makes me want to go out and f be cheery right with this next one then um, just literally grab the uh, picture from sort of left to right until we see happy girl ah there she is everyone happy now So, get ready for another short burst of nothingness, drag the shutter up for another cutscene, and we're going to be coming up to yet another achievement. Man, these are achievements are coming at you quicker than a fat kid that loves that buffet.
And again, then this next achievement is very easy. All we've got to do is knock the umbrella on the right-hand side and just knock it off into the box below. That is all we've got to do. Uh, for some reason, though, it can be kind of tricky to do it. So, you kind of drag it like we did with the ice cubes at the beginning. And as soon as that one's done, that is done. Make sure to click on the light before pulling the shutter down. So, click on the light now, and then pull the shutter down. That is how you progress the story. For whatever particular reason, I decided to forget to click the bulb. So, click the bulb. There we go. Drag the shutter down, and <laughs> we will progress. Come in. Okay, there we go. Got there in the end. <laughs> I thought that was a I thought that was a bloody sword then. I thought they were gonna do some sword antics with the snail. Hey, when in Rome. Okay, so click on the up arrow on the left hand side, and then we're automatically gonna go in. Sometimes it just seems a bit pointless. Just it's literally one second of gameplay towards like two or three minutes of um, cutscenes. Oh, this is a nice house. It's got mould on the walls. This cannot be the only bit of the house. Anyway, keep interacting with the boxes. There's going to be a whole bunch of boxes that's going to appear. All we have to do is just keep clicking the A button on those boxes. Uh, you think before moving all of this, you would scrape off these sort of um, barnacles and the, uh, the AIDS. What kind of looks like AIDS off the wall right there. That is some dampy mould. Although I suppose this is a brick house under the sea, if you want to call it that. Get rid of the tape, and it just keeps smashing out the boxes until everything is all neat and tidy, and we are good to go. Man, this is one hell of an apartment. Who's sleeping in on the chair, and who's sleeping in the cupboard, I want to know. And where's the TV? God damn it, we need a TV! Oh, it does look nice and homely, mind. Still. <laughs> it's all nice now when kids do that, but when kids kick off and bees little dicks, which all kids are, don't tell me yours is saintful, because all kids be dicks. They are. That's going to be a hell of an awkward time for mother and daughter right there. But anyway, for this bit, just drag all of the files that you can. The ones are pretty obvious, the ones that are all a bit squiff and not straight, and sort of stick out like a sore thumb. Just drag all the files out onto the table to see more depressing stuff. Hooray! It's a happy, happy home life, mummy making the money, kid being depressed. It's a happy, happy game. You know, it's about as happy as having sickness and diarrhea, to be honest. So what you have to do then is interact with the uh, five TVs around you, and you have to turn it to the same picture as this. So click each TV twice until you see the same picture. A little cutscene is going to happen again. Next, just interact with each TV once until you see this um, very beautiful image of... I mean, to be honest, it looks like we were just um, playing Jigsaw then. Looks like we were the Saw Man. Let's play a game, etc. Well, you know the drill. Anyway, interact with all the TVs once more. And that should be that for this section. <laughs> that was the worst Saw impression I ever known. So for whatever particular reason, then she goes swimming when she can't breathe and everything. But 
uh, and she's fine, but a little tiny bit of rain and she's like, oh, screw that, I hate getting wet. Logic, please? I don't know. Still. Here we are in the very warmth. Now, before moving forward down the elevator, as you can see in the top right-hand corner, there's a bunch of dolphins for us to interact with. So, there it is. Press the A button, drag it down, but then when it's at the bottom, just leave go of the A button. Because uh, if you drag it back up, the achievement won't unlock. So, as soon as you get to the A... Um, as soon as you get the dolphin to the bottom, let go of the A button. It'll go up on its own, and the achievement will unlock. And then, as you can see, we've got the footsteps in front of us, so start heading in front of you, down the old escalator. I mean, for all the jokes that I've said, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bloody nice-looking game. It is a very nice-looking game. And they didn't have to, Clutches Interacted, didn't have to spend no money on voice actors as well. So, man, they'd be rolling in that dough now. That Game Pass dough, yo. Which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah. yeah. I think everyone's happy. Yeah, everyone happy? Good. So, for this sort of remainder of the game, it gets very more, it gets even more cutscene-y. So you start seeing sort of two to three minute, four, five minute cutscenes. Um, but I believe we've only got two achievements left now. Um, again, very easy, but for chapter five, we it's probably best to do the next achievement called Single Swim first time. Only because, if it, because it's at the end of the chapter, you don't want to have to replay the whole of chapter five and go through all this again just to get to that point. But again, we'll just get there when we get to it. Let's, let's not... Let's not trip ourselves up forward too quickly, shall we? Let's uh, stick in the present, and we're going to be doing some cleaning now. So grab your sponge, Bob Squarepants, and all you've got to do is just clean the screen. So as soon as we can, press the A button and just get rid of all of the dirt. I was going to, to spell TWH for the Welsh Hunter, but that, that went as well as, as well as things normally go for me, which is not very. Um, anyway, when this bit is done... Our little um, Iron Cheek is going to be very happy. Ah, ah they ran away. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, I'm so Come here, Iron Cheek. I'll Give me that cheek. Oh, I'll oh, you sad little thing, you. Yes. So, imagine being that unloved that uh, not even fish want to be a friend. Wow, that's kind of uh, that's kind of depressing, huh? <laughs> well, let's cheer ourselves up. Everyone wants to be your friend, including fish, so don't you worry. Oi! Where are you going, fish? Jesus Christ! It's storming out of water, for God's sakes! Run, little girl! Run, little me! Cartoon version of me. Right, time to get through some seaweed, or some normal weeds under the sea, which would technically be seaweed. So, again, all we got to do is just grab uh, three or four, I think it's four bits of seaweed, drag it to the side until, I mean, somehow they start exploding. We're in a hell of a good place right now, exploding seaweed and all. So you have to do it with uh, the ones on the right, ones on the left, basically again until the scene changes. Oh, 
Oh, you cheeky little shitbag. Don't hit me. Or was that a metaphor, was it, for um, our mother was busy, so, so busy working that she just fed us seaweed and slapped us about a bit. And that's why we called Iron Cheek. Yeah, you son of a... Anyway, grab this ring pole thing, grab it to the top left-hand corner, and then blow up all the balloons. You do enough, and they're all automatically going to go on. Grab the three fish on the floor, put it on the sort of podium. Right in front of us. See, I hope you... I hope... If you've been playing Elden Ring, I hope this game has uh, it made it even harder for you. <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, grab the two sort of cardboard pieces of wood, whatever. Grab them on the second bit. On the third bit. And hooray, we won! We are a winner! And then the mother's going to be like, Right, that was great. i got to go work now. i got a picture though, so... Uh, yeah, you uh, wallow in your self-depression for five minutes while mommy goes to work. Now, she have not even got a good job. She just works in an office. That's literally nine till five. You don't have to. You just don't have to. Just, anyway. Parents, enjoy your kids, man. <laughs> just enjoy your kids. They're not going to be kids forever. Don't be that working, working guy. Unless you're a detective and good at your job. If you're crap at your job, then seriously, don't be that guy. So, again, somehow Anna is fantastically running forward. Like I said, I get out of breath just by walking up the stairs. So, Anna here is doing fantastic. Rip open the gates. Again, just uh, drag them forward, drag them up on the left stick. And then we'll go for the next sprinting of life. Time for a shower, because apparently you smell under the sea. Uh, grab the um, put tap at the top, drag it down, and then we can use the valve and spin that around. And then get ready for yet the next cutscene. Cutscene after cutscene. Oh, get rid of the fog, of course, first. Now, here I did try doing the, the Welsh Hunter sign, but I got to sort of TW, which you couldn't tell, and then it done it automatically, so, yeah, close enough. So into our teens that we are, that we are. So grab the thing on the right, drag that down. Grab the thing on the left and drag that down. I think they're amps actually, yeah, they would be amps. Uh, we'll just call them, yeah. Drag the big thing in the middle and drag that down. Okay. Man, iron cheeks. Oh no, she she already had big ones, didn't it? Her, her mother had straightener cheeks, didn't she? Uh, so again. Now nah, this takes the piss. She's like, oh, I'm here now. I've already won. You've missed the whole freaking thing, ma. You, you, you. Mate. Don't be that parent. Oh, hi, I made it. Well, actually, I've just won, but, you know, you've missed the whole thing. But there we go. That's up to you. Um, I hope organising those files was more worth it than watching your daughter win. I stuck my both my middle fingers up while I just... By the way, in case you're wondering what that was. Right. For this bit, all we have to do is grab the bits of weed off... Off the door right here, so sort of drag it, drag it to the left and up, um, and you should be again golden nuggets in terms of getting out of here, quick before we drown. But we're scared of the rain, remember? We're not scared of being under sea. There is another piece of weed in front of us, so sort of grab that from the bottom, just to the right of where Anna is, Miss Perna, right there, Miss Anna Perna, and drag that again to the left. Then we can interact with the door and get our buns in. Kind of looks like the beginning scene from uh, Batman the Dark Knight. Joker's going to come up and pop us one. So we've got about 13 minutes left now of the game, so we're getting through it. So, grab the lights, chuck them on. Um, on the top of the sort of uh, platform. There we go. They will raise up. Um, grab the two cloths off of the amps. There we go. There's one. And there's the second one. And now we can uh, grab the lever, stick that one up. And ta-da! So two phones are going to appear now. So all we've got to do is take some pictures. There we go. Just click on the only button that you can on the phone. I don't know if that's supposed to be an English countdown. That looks... Yeah, I got no idea. And do the same on the other phone, and then cutscene begins. And she's like, "I don't know where my mom is. I don't know where my dad is. God damn, that's uh, 
It's a happy life. <gasps> Jesus Christ! So, what it appears to be, since our mother didn't arrive for our last swim win, we're just going to smash up the whole house, or the whole room, as it turns out. So, uh, grab everything out of the cupboard, smash that, smash all them out. Um, to grab everything off the table, lift it up, so click up on the left stick, and then just leave go with the A button, that should smash everything down. And for the last one, just tip over the chair, just because, I mean, that's extra petty, that one, isn't it? You smashed everything else, but... Ah, screw your chair, we'll just tip that on his back. And apparently we're running away. So, now, is this a bit of an overreaction? My mother only has time for work, not me, so I'm just going to smash up the whole house and leave. And she's not going to come after me, and I'm not going to go after her. Seems a bit of an overreaction in my eyes, but <laughs> there we go. Right, so interact with the bottom right corner of the book, and then drag that up again by pressing the right, uh, the A button on the left stick, of course. And we are coming up to the end of chapter 5 now, so we'll be getting the Sick or Swim achievement. Open up the curtains, it's a beautiful day. Oh, we got a bed this time, and we don't have to sleep in the cupboard anymore, thank God for that. Move the books, and we're going to interact with the radio. All we got to do is put the tape in, though. Uh, we don't have to mess around with anything this time. Stick in the tape, enjoy your life. Like I said, we got a bed, so <laughs> my back is blamissimo this time. Okay, interact with book again, bottom right hand corner, and when the page flicks up, stick that over. And we've got a little bit of a school scene. Again, no, this is just nice and easy. Uh, nothing's been too complicated so far, is it? No. So drag the book, drag it down on the left stick so that she'll pop up the books. And do the same with the pencil case. Open up the pencil case. Again, A, and then press the left stick up. Pencils will automatically come out, and then all you've got to do is just interact with the middle book, flick that over to the left, and we are on to a Wiener. So here we go then, for the missable achievement, so drag the book over, now what you have to do is press the A button once to jump into the pool, and then completely just keep spamming the A, or if you're on PlayStation, the cross button, just keep spamming the A button. So when we get here, press the A button once so that we dive in, but keep spamming the A button, we basically have to get through to the other side of the pool without floating up. So from now, keep spamming that A button, do not let go. Spam, 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 Keep spamming that A button though until we get to the other side for the achievement to unlock. Made it. Sink and swim. So congratulations. That one is that. And then we've only got one more missable, you know, quote unquote, missable achievement to grab. And then um, that'll be it. We've only got two achievements left and they, that is for completing the game. Does this play like the six stages of grief, but in like a completely different order or something? That's what it could be. Anger. Depression, um, diarrhea, whatever the other ones are. Oh, so you like trophies, do you? Well, have all the trophies in the world. I don't get it. Lewis Hamilton dressed like a half used tea bag and went mad in 15 minutes. Anyway, interact with these speakers. Just keep interacting with all three speakers, or you can just interact with the same one until the scene changes and the cutscene begins.
I'm so sad. I'm so talented, but I'm so sad. Would you rather have talent and sad or no talent and be happy? Oh, there's one for you. Right, so what we've got to do is light up the whole way. So interact with all of the uh, the sea mushrooms. Kind of magic mushrooms, I suppose, on the left. And the little things at the bottom there. And the flowers on the right-hand side. And all the like weird fisheye things as well. So you have to interact with them, I think, by tapping the A button. Some, some of them you can just sort of stroke up and down. Just go up and down on the left stick. Others you actually have to keep pressing the A button on them, but as soon as this bit's done anyway, cutscene's going to change, scene's going to move, we are going to move on. So this is where the final miserable achievement is then, and it's for fixing the mirror in one go, without failing. But it is, again, very easy. Uh, but to get to that mirror, what you have to do is interact with the street lamps on the right and left hand side, so the three on the right, tree on the left, and then we will automatically go to the mirror. Again, if you do end up failing, you can just replay uh, chapter 6 from chapter select and go again. So grab the left middle piece and sort of drag it just to the left, sort of at the left top corner. Leave go with the A button and it'll put it in automatically. Grab the right middle piece and put that one at the top. Now grab the bottom right piece and again put that sort of at the bottom right part of the mirror. Now, even if it looks like you're not going to make it, it will normally make it. So grab the bottom left piece, put that in the bottom left piece of the corner. Then the uh, top left piece, put that in the middle. So as you can see, it looks like that you you can't do it. It's in a bit of a squiff. But grab the bo uh, top right piece, drag that in the top right corner. And it is as easy as that. I know they look like it, it might not work, but it always does. So as long as you do that, you'll get the achievement. And now we can just spam the A button to go through these next couple of pictures. So SETI, train, boat, nightclub, seaweed, uh, fish. Now that I'm a gay fish, gay fish. So that's Kanye West. That is Kanye West. He loved them fishies because he doesn't get the fish sticks joke. Right, as soon as we're done with this, uh, keep interacting with the um, horse ride. And, again, just keep going until the scene changes. And I think we're actually coming up to one more huge cutscene. In uh, fact, yeah, I do think this is actually the end of the game now. I do think this is the end of the game. Oh my god! Mommy! Ah! <laughs> Why didn't you come to find me when I ran away, you stupid... Anyway, so we turn into the cartoon Iron Cheeks version of ourselves. Except now we've grown up, we've got straightener marks on us. So, job done. Um, so... To me, it's not a particularly happy reunion. Um, I ran away, she didn't even come to try to find me. But now we found her. You weren't there for me, Mama. I just wanted that KFC from your boibs and you didn't give them to me. Or as it turns out from this from this particular scene, she probably did. Oh, oh, the fish without photo. Yeah, so looks like our mother has, um, 
Well, she's in a watery grave, by the looks of things. That's awkward. But what is incredible in this bit is um, just the size on our mother's cheeks. They, they, they're quite big. Look like dog ears. Anyway, so we are in our mother, dead mother's cleavage for some particular reason, rather than her arms. I don't know, okay? I don't know. It's just what it looks like to me. And this is the final ending cutscene. We're going to start swimming up. So apparently, because we've seen our mother in a watery grave, we're happy now. So, hey, whatever whatever keeps us sleeping at night. Now we can go back to winning an Olympics, being rich and being beautiful. And, well, there we go then, guys and gals. That is uh, a memoir blue done. You should now get all 15, should have now 15 out of 15 achievements, and your platinum trophy as well. So, I'm just going to leave it here then, guys, and let you think what in the hell just went on. Um, hopefully, you're not too bummed out by the game and that you're happy with another 1,000. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well if you did find it very helpful. Don't forget to check me on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And again, big, huge, massive shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are just so legendary, you don't even know it. Uh, and again, thanks to everyone who interacts with me on the daily as well. And there we go then, guys and gals. So another easy Game Pass edition done. I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. <laughs> big love!